sofa6.co.uk Sponsors of The Haze Hour Well, hello, good evening and welcome to Thursday here on Thursday. the Thursday. It's Thursday. 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 Again. Already? Again. 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 Yes. yes. Got a new I'm pope now, you know. Yes. Frankie. Frank, where pope are Frankie. Frankie. Pope Frankie. Apparently, the new pope and the old pope are going to get together and open a chain of ice cream shops. And call it. Frankie and Benny's. <laughs> <laughs> oh God! Oh God! Blind me! Bloody hell! <laughs> Frankie! <laughs> now where did you get that from? Oh, I saw it on Twitter somewhere. I don't know who put it up. Call it a retweet, Frankie a live Benny. retweet. It's we're going to have a fun night tonight. We are going to have a fun night tonight because Daz has got new toys. I've got new toys, and we're going to play some video of it'll make your blood boil. Will it? Oh, oh. aye. There'll be oh. noses enough for you tonight. Oh, I look forward to that. It's going to be... <laughs> no no technical stuff. No, very no. little technical all stuff right. at all. It's going to all be about butt plugs. <laughs> butt plugs. <laughs> sort of. It looks like right. I'll, I'll see a night till we get that. Butt plugs, GGs, and our, 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 our piece of video from last night. You know, that's the last thing I would have thought of that. Really? Mm. Yeah. They can't see it yet. No, they can't. But they will after the titles. Yeah. <laughs> we'll be back right after the titles because this is a television show called The, the Hour. 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 said looking across to make sure everything was working it's gonna it is gonna be a fun night tonight and and i've just seen leanna lawless typing in chat up there which i can see she says i wish i could turn my landline off on thursday nights somebody always calls during vt tv uh, yeah it's funny that uh, because yeah. somebody always calls here as well isn't it? Funny enough. Phone go just before yes, we go live that's true it's usually the nicotine police saying we're enjoying it too much <laughs> you can, see, can you not see that one as well keith no, I'm, oh, I'm read, not read the big one. one. Yes, yeah, yeah, fair yes, enough, fair yes. enough. Yes, it's, it's shocking. It certainly is. Shall we talk about butt plugs? Not. Now, the thing is, the thing is, I should tell everybody this. I had said a while ago, you might recall, that we were going to do a series of, well, not a series, but every so often we would do a little slot called Here's Something You Cannot Get. Yeah. And that's what this is. It's about something you cannot get because Daz over there has been getting some toys. Haven't you, Daz? Tell yes, everybody. I have. I've been getting some toys. So what happened was um, a couple of months ago, I think it was months ago, were you writing on that conversation? No. Well, dear, dear Sav happened to notice on, um, whilst we are on the interwebs one day, and she happened to notice this wonderful looking device called a Bobo. Hang on. Called the what? Sorry. Bobo. The what? The Bobo. The Bobo. Oh, oh. Yes. Oh, the Bobo, Keith. Yes, the bobo. And sounds like good. Well, you hadn't said that when we were talking before. That no, that was its name. Yes, it's it's actually got a name, and it's called the bobo. And we thought it looked quite cute. <laughs> <laughs> right. You will. You you may laugh, but we did. We felt we thought it was quite cute. <laughs> so we extended our search onto the internet and could not find a bobo anywhere. Now, this is serious stuff, this. If you yeah. can't find a bobo anywhere on the internet, I think it probably means Google's broken. But carry on, Dad. So, after months and months of searching, well, weeks more or less, but uh, a couple of months later... Should we not have David Attenborough doing this? Well, oh, well. 
we we'll had a contact. On the interwebs. So what had attracted you to the bobo? It's just the unusual shape. <laughs> right. <laughs> the unusual shape more than anything else, because I know how it works. It works on exactly the same way that it's a galley's the Z-Max works, because it works off the, it, it's produced by Segali. I thought it was so tactile when I was touching it earlier. Hang on, what are you talking about now? What? He's, what are you talking about now? That's Bobo. Yes. When you were touching the Bobo. If that's what he's you? calling it, I don't that's, know that's what, that. that's what he's what? calling <laughs> it. <laughs> Hang on, Daz, right. look, before we go any further, hand is it across, let me get it on a closey up calm, otherwise people are going to have completely the wrong idea. Closey up calm, there it is, that is a bobo, right? I'm calling it a butt plug, you might be able to see why. And I thought it looked a bit like some <laughs> ancient said, oh oriental <laughs> china, <laughs> um, porcelain. Oh. Right. <laughs> well, you, you could say, in a sense, because these aren't actually, they were being manufactured, but they're not being manufactured anymore. Right. And in other words, they couldn't sell them. <laughs> they were looking for some nugget. I think there's only actually three of us in the UK who actually possesses one I, of these. I think calling it a bobo, that... that that demeans its artistic qualities. In <laughs> well, I what thought the it hell was just you <laughs> drinking? Why are you putting his lemonade? <laughs> 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 I mean, it is quite a it is, uh, to work me, of that's art, artistic. isn't it? Yes, it's yes, like, it's, you know, it's, it's quite flow. It is quite a vase design, I, I would say. Would you not? No. You you said to me the other day, Willow. Where did he get Willow well, from? Well, it's, it's it's the it's the, the blue blue and whiteness of the whole thing. Hence it's got what a, I'm saying about Chinese of, or Japanese porcelain. And we will go back kind of closely up here, and it has got kind of a Willow patterny sort of vibe to the whole thing. But unfortunately, it looks like the bulb on a on a, a beginner's douche, or alternatively, it, you know, when you take the at the manubrilator off which I shall do on camera instead of being a nugget and doing it off camera. Um, if you kind of put it in that direction where nobody can see the button, it does look as though, it, you know, it's got a nice rounded end and that bulbous bit and a little flange. Just, um, well, yeah. <laughs> I'm just well, so just pleased that Dave's educated on the matter because I didn't know anything about the... Well, what he's you know, with the, with the end <laughs> off... Uh, you know, you could say that was a posy vase, couldn't you? A you what? Could... A posy vase? Yeah, yeah, I know could, what you mean. A single, I know exactly what you mean. A single flower. A single flower. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. Steve K said to me the other day on Skype <laughs> that if I dropped it, because this is porcelain. This is porcelain, by the way, guys. Um, it, no, not porcelain. Ceramic's the word I'm looking for. Ceramic. Yeah. And I've got a tiled floor. Now, anybody who knows me knows that I'm notorious for knocking over mods. I think you, you accrue <laughs> right. your mods because all your mods want to commit suicide. They do. So I have to put this right at the back of the work surface, away from the tiled floor, because this wouldn't... It would roll it would, off. It would if smash. You had it, yes. well, well, it, that's absolutely it guaranteed. Stands very, I, yeah, when, I mean, when it you, stands. It kind of stands. I, I tell you, everybody... Daz came up, first time he ever came up here, sat down in the city, put his Z-Max, I think it was a Z-Max, down on the coffee table beside him, <laughs> went to rage something, and boing, <laughs> straight on the floor. Everything, everything hits the floor. That's going to be shattered into a million pieces. Well, that's why I put right on the back, and Dave Key said, if I break it, will a Z-Max Z grow out with the ashes? <laughs> yes. <laughs> The thing is, I mean, shall we be serious? Yeah. Yeah, let's 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 be let's mm -hmm. be serious a little bit. It it does actually have all of the functions of a is that the right way up? No, that way up. That way up. It does have all of the functions of a Zamax. So one, two, three, there's the menus. It is in fact, in all respects, a Zamax in willow pattern with plug clothing. Vase. Vase. There's, yes. there's vase or vase. Yes. Yes. I can see there's another word going to be banned on chat soon. What's that? Butt plug. Butt plug. Mm. As opposed to custard. Yes. <laughs> I just don't know where you get that idea from. It's the last thing mm. I would have mm. thought of. Well, I don't even know what these kind of things look like, me being so innocent-minded and all that. Well, they are medical devices, mm. but... Uh, what are? Butt plugs. I wouldn't know, Keith. Who brought them up? <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, I'll tell you what, yes, I'm, I'm pleased you two are here, because <laughs> I've been going, 
absolutely nuts <coughs> next door I have with the, the kitchen, which is coming on quite nicely, everybody. It should be finished a week tomorrow. If anybody out there in VTTV land is thinking about getting your kitchen done, not in two rooms into one, and make a big kitchen, here's a word of advice. It's cheaper, quicker, and less stressful to, to move. move. <laughs> yes, I would have to agree, yes. I don't even think the Bobo could sort that out somehow. No. It's quite an unfortunate name for it, though. I'll let, I think it suits its name well. How have you been getting on with it, anyway? I've been getting on okay. I mean, there's a, there's a couple of things that I've noticed which is exactly the same as, like, the Z-Max. Now, one of the things that irritates us the most about it is this has a feature on it where you can set the display to show the resistance of whatever it is that's attached to it. Uh -huh. But every now and then, like the Z-Max, it decides it doesn't like it and it puts it back to um, the, the power. Voltage. Puts it back to yeah, voltage. Yeah, to voltage. Uh, every time you change your battery, this, yeah. is, this is one of the things about the, the Sigeli Z-Max, every time you change your battery, everything else stays the same, mm. bar... The, what comes up on the display goes away from resistance, which is mm. where I've got mindset as well, because yeah. you need to know the resistance right. of a, a Genesis Atti, don't you, Keith? Oh, definitely. Absolutely. Keith knows about So what would things. be the reason for that, then, or why it would do that? It's just a glitch in the software somewhere. Right. And I, that, yeah. that, but that's the only thing, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Oh yeah, it is definitely it's the only thing. I mean, it has a, it has like an auto shut off, which I kind of like. So, if you've not been using it for for a good while, you've got to press it like five times again to switch it on. Right. Which I like right. that because does yours go to well, sleep? it does. Yeah. Oh, mine doesn't. Yours doesn't go. No. Well, this one does. Oh. It goes to sleep, so you've got to press. Maybe I would say give it thirty minutes or so, and it'll just auto oh. shut off. Oh, that's quite sophisticated, then. Isn't now, it? Gillis is saying in chat. In chat, in ch we've got chat all over the place as well tonight <laughs> for the first yeah. time. But Gillis is saying if you change the batteries quickly enough, it keeps its settings. Right. So it's, it's, I'll give that a try. It's just how quick you are at slipping it into the hole and yes, then screwing and it screwing down. Screwing it down. Yes. Yeah. Quite. It's, well, it's <laughs> the other thing that I would. <laughs> <laughs> it's always uh, been important. Right. The other thing that I would recommend as well is um, the springs are okay, but get a decent hot spring for it. Yes. Just yes, like the Z-Max. Does, does it rattle? It doesn't really, not as much as the... Yeah, it does. Yeah, it does rattle. Actually, like it good does. that one. Did you see the action there? But look, it didn't switch it off. No, it didn't. It didn't. It's kept it so that the springs kept contact with it you while can. I was shaking. That's quite good. That's very good. Mine, mm. I'll tell you what, that thing weighs a ton. It does. It does. You, you need a bit of a break. It is heavy. <laughs> so, so heavy is uh, not the word. I mean, you know, if you go out on a, on a, on a Saturday night and there's a big bother on just... <laughs> <laughs> hey, I never thought of that. Well, yeah. Take it out of this yeah, tell you what, you could take it out on a Saturday night. No. Right. Oh. There you go. Keith, would that do a top... Would that, <laughs> would that be okay in the shirt pocket, do you think? Oh, a shirt pocket for Keith. <laughs> 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 Need to rip my shirt off my back. <laughs> we'll leave that for later. So they're not making these yeah. now? No. I so when did, did when did they make them? I don't know when they did make them. Week before last, I think. No, <laughs> <laughs> but the the what now? If you try and even search for them on the the interwebs, you're not really hearing a lot about them. There's it's it's actually hard to try and find. So it could become a, a rare. Yes, yes, it could in yes. years to come. Yes, in years to come, it could be such a rare piece, and it could be in Sotheby's auction. It could. It could, it yeah. Could, yes, uh, that could be my retirement fund right there. It or could be. or, or in, in two years' time, it could be on the classes for 350 quid. It could be, it could yes. Be. Yes, yeah. it's mm -hmm. unusual. It's, yes. I, I think, I've got to say, I mean, I've, I know I'm taking the mickey out. I, I don't actually find it all that comfortable. No. Um, but that's because I like it. A cylindrical cil cylinder. Mm. No, I thought it's it was comfortable, actually. It's well, it, I think it's horses for courses, isn't it? Yes. It's horses for courses. But when you've got the feel of it as well, be, with it having ceramic in an alternative to metal, do you not think that's part and parcel? Because the, the feel and the touch of it is, in fact, different from what you normally feel with. Well, this really is around about the first time I've ever touched your bobo, so it's... <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I mean, really, it, it feels a bit like... A, you know, having a tool in your hand, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Don't you think? 
Why do I uh, look? Well, because <laughs> look, the world will look up. No, <laughs> don't, you know, don't. you've seen screwdriver handles like that. Yeah. Oh, that's what it reminds us of. I knew there was something it reminded us of. Well, if that was just, you know, black or, or silver, it would look like a pregnant I mean, screwdriver. You, you, were, you, would, yeah. you were the practical man, David. I thought that would have been one of the first things you thought of. I'm not practical with being you know, out tools. Rather than a posy bars. There is a, th when I did a hard way around up a good few weeks ago, there was something from the Sigali range, which uh, I did, and I can't remember what it was called, but it actually is the same pattern as that. It's, it's, do you remember? I say it was like a cube Z Max, mm. and it had that end on it, and we didn't know what that end was for. Oh, the one with the, it had a little... It had a little, little yeah, little it was said, thing. yeah, could you put a lanyard on it or something yeah, like that. Which would be a great idea with a Genesis Atomizer. Yeah, and you can actually get it in that design. Oh, right. No, I think it's quite tactile. Not that I go in for heavy equipment, but uh, do you know what I mean? Yeah. It's, it's, right, you'd yeah. need to keep an eye on it. Because <laughs> you know what that... Oh, yeah, it yeah, exactly. It I will. wouldn't sort of fancy wandering ran you know down the street with it, but uh, if you wanted to attract attention that oh is yeah, exactly oh what it would, would do it would attract yeah, attention it would. there's no doubt about that ah bear that in mind mm. for later on bear that in mind for later on because i've had an idea right but i'm not going to talk about that now okay. what i am going to do is play an advert for saturday because saturday coming up there's two mates on that we know about one's in edinburgh all right at gorgy street Right. And Emporio Armani. No, it's not Emporio <laughs> Armani. Emporium Vapors. Emporium Vapors. On Gorgie Street in, in Edinburgh. Right. Which is in Scotland, apparently. Yes, that's right. And there's also one in South Shales. Yeah. Which, just for Dave Kay's edification, is not in Scotland. It's not even <laughs> close to Scotland. <laughs> no. No. <coughs> it's in the, in the, in the no faced in it, is where it is. Um, and that happens on Saturday from 12 o'clock. And the organiser is more here. That would be me. Not Larry or Curly. I'm getting notifications off Facebook now, and I haven't even got Facebook open. I give up. Here's the advert. Train now standing in the <laughs> I'm sorry, it's just sitting playing with your bobo for so long, sent me head all over. Yes, the knees meet, the knees meet. I've had an idea, I want to do something right. with a few people from the knees meet. I need three. Right. I need three. And when we get to the, the, the one show piece, chat will be way ahead of us now. Right. If they've seen the one show piece. But we'll have a look at it. We'll have a look at the one show piece straight after the adverts. Do you think I'll be impressed with it? Oh, you'll be over the moon. Oh, yeah. Absolutely over the moon. Yeah. I used to like that Alex Jones. Not anymore. No. No. It's a bit you didn't get the one off this morning from the day before as well. I will. There you go. I tell you what, we'll take the adverts, and when we come back from the adverts, we'll play in the one show from last night. It's not very long, and you can ignore most of it. But, uh, yeah, we'll be back in a couple of minutes.
Weber, and I Weber Elixir, based in Yorkshire, for your AC needs. That's iweber.co.uk and iweber-elixir.co.uk. I Weber and I Weber-elixir.co.uk are proud sponsors of VeberTrails.tv. Dead air there for a second. Right. It's this right. because I was watching Dave K on Sunday night and he's been doing all the techno trickery, so I now have a wi the wireless capability. Only mine's silver. Calculator. Very impressive. It is. Yeah. It's all good. Yeah. Well, this is all to get the quality out there so yeah. people enjoy what they're doing. Now, what I would say to you, everybody, is this. If you've got any 45 milligram, get loaded up with it now. I would. If you have not got 45, 36. If you've only got 24, get two ACs on the go. You may need them. You are about to see some footage from Auntie Beeb that came up last night. And I'm using the term Auntie Beeb and spelling it A-N-T-I. And here's why. That is no smoking day. Uh, Tony Livesey looks at the cigarette substitute, which proves there is smoke without fire. When I was young, I used to smoke 30 a day, so a cup of tea had always be accompanied by a fag. I gave up, though, 28 years ago, and since the smoking ban's been in place, puffing away in places like this for everybody has become a thing of the past. Or has it? Puffing in public is making a comeback, courtesy of these electronic cigarettes. Anthony Greenfield runs a company that sells them. Well, they look like fags, how do they work? Well, they're made up of two parts. The white bit's your battery, and then you've got your cartridge. Your cartridge holds your liquid, and when screwed together, that's your electronic cigarette. When I take a puff on that, what happens inside that? Well, there's water mixed with nicotine, propylene glycol and glycerol, and when heated up, produces like a water vapour. It delivers nicotine in a clean hit, yeah, without all the nasty stuff, so there's no tar and there's no carbon monoxide. There's an estimated 700,000 e-cigarette users in the UK, and the market is growing fast. According to Anthony, they're a cleaner and cheaper alternative to smoking tobacco, with a £1.60 cartridge roughly equaling a pack of 20 cigarettes. But nicotine is highly addictive. They are intended for existing smokers. Right. How can you tell when somebody comes to buy one that, that, that whether they're an existing smoker? Well, we ask them if they're an existing smoker and we have to take the word for it. You know, Tesco can't stop someone who's pregnant to buy alcohol, for example. I, I'll advise you not to, yeah. but I can't stop you. Despite being relatively new, electronic cigarettes have already attracted controversy. Remember this? Last year, vapour from an e-cigarette sparked a full-scale terror alert on the M6 toll. Electronic cigarettes aren't covered by the smoking ban, meaning they're legal to smoke anywhere. But some businesses, including Starbucks and Weatherspoons, have already banned their use due to concerns that they could be mistaken for real cigarettes. We've enlisted the help of these three guys from a local Amdram group to try to find out what reaction we'll get from puffing away on an e-cigarette in a place that's covered by the smoking ban. It could be good, it could be bad, it could be indifferent, as long as it doesn't involve the fire brigade. We've equipped our volunteers with hidden cameras and are sending them into the lunchtime rush at this food court. E-cigarettes give off a water-based vapour rather than smoke, so no danger of passive smoking. But will the other diners object? We have contact. A lady in a red coat with grey hair. If Lux could put e-cigarettes out, then she's got it. I wonder what's going through her mind. Didn't seem right somehow. So I don't think that should be happening here really. Why didn't you say anything to them? Because we naturally don't like challenging people these days, I think. I looked at the gentleman, I thought, the damn bloke's smoking. Yeah. Then I thought, ah, no he's not, because I couldn't see the flame going down the cigarette. Generally smoking inside, I'm not too sure. I mean, it's still a bad influence on children. 
Some health campaign groups are worried by the lack of regulation surrounding e-cigarettes. They fear they could normalise smoking and act as a gateway into tobacco use. The Medicine and Healthcare Products Regulatory Agency is currently deciding whether e-cigarettes should be licensed as a medicine. This could result in them being sold alongside tried and tested quit smoking aids, such as nicotine patches and gum. And Tony's here. Now, mm. were you surprised by the reactions of the people around the smokers? Oh, well, it was as though Lady Godiva had come in for a sandwich. <laughs> they were all nudging, pointing, and, and some people were offended by it. But quite interesting, one of, one of our smokers in the film, she's a hardened smoker, and she enjoyed it, and she said she'd take them up in addition to smoking, so she wouldn't cut down. She'd <laughs> double a dose of nicotine. Oh, really? She can now smoke in places like that as opposed to outside. Because you, you tried it as well, didn't you? I tried it. We didn't show that on the film. 28 yeah. years I've given up and I thought I would do it for the sake of this programme. And I was really scared to do it because the first time I put nicotine back mm. in my body. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm telling you, I got a hit. And uh, for two hours afterwards, I was debating with myself, should I have yeah. another hit? Sure. Wow. So yeah. as well as a cutting down exercise, it could get ex-smokers back on it. Yeah, how do you feel about these, Alison? Because, I mean, it seems very strange to see in the film now, you know, people tabbing away in a restaurant. Well, I hate smoking. I mean, uh, I gave up smoking years ago, but anything that helps people give up is great. Yeah. But I'm not 100% convinced about this. No. I'm really mm. not. Are they a big thing in LA then, Josh? Do you know? I see commercials for them now and then. You're getting some, seeing some celebrity endorsements of products like this. Um, I'd be curious to know if there's any secondhand repercussions the way there are for, for yeah. actual. Yeah, that's stuff. one of the objections now. Nobody knows at the moment. Right. It's not regulated. That's yeah. interesting. That's because true. as a singer, you know, I, I can choose whether to smoke or not, and I don't smoke. But it, it also can affect me when I'm around people who are smoking at a party or something like that. Yeah. Yeah. And I wouldn't mind it so much if it was something that, that you know, didn't have the smoke aspect of it. Mm -hmm. Well, Tony, it's the 30th National No Smoking yeah. Day uh, today. So what is the state of smoking as we know? Well, great, this band's been in for a while. Great strides have been taken, Matt, to be honest. In 1948, when records began, 82% of adults smoked. In 1974, it was 51, and now it's 20%, so they have got it down to a rump. But I guess one of the most disturbing figures is that 140,000 kids aged between 11 and 15 are smoking regularly, wow. which is shocking. Yeah. Yeah. And what are they going to do then in the future? What are the proposals? And well, one of, the, one of the ways of stopping kids starting to smoke is this. They're going to have, uh, if the camera can pick it up, they're going to have no branding on cigarette packets as well as all the revol revolting pictures wow. as well. And the other legislation we're expecting Grim. in the Queen's speech, I think very sensibly, is that they're going to, we believe, make it illegal to smoke in a car with kids. Yes. Yeah. Okay. That definitely should be. You How do the police that? How do the police that's what? Smoking cars with kids. Right. I mean, S speed you know, driver wouldn't know. Anyway, that's the point about all of this. This, this all got started away. I was sitting watching, I mean, I've been swearing my head off. Sorry, I've gone all ethnic. It, that, that's made my blood boil and I should tell you before I go any further this morning I sat and penned a mighty missive and sent it to the Beeb in complaint they have a complaints page go there if you feel so the, uh, so inclined starting off the whole thing with there is smoke without fire the Jones woman yes yes she gives blondes a bad name that girl she does <laughs> and then why did they bring the motorway thing in it wasn't because somebody was sitting there chuffing on a fag, it was no. because he'd been stealthing it mm -hmm. with a box yeah. mod and he didn't mm -hmm. want it to look like a bomb. Then, did you notice how they didn't bring any comments in from anybody that hadn't been, in inverted commas, worried yeah. by what they'd seen? And as somebody rightly pointed out in chat, <coughs> everybody'd be sitting going, hey look, there's a camera over there, hell. What, what are they looking at with that camera? What the, it's, oh, it must be that fella with the A sig. Hey, they shouldn't be using them in A, you know. That's what it would have been. Yeah. You can guarantee exactly that. And anyway, why would you, if you wanted to get reaction, why would you send people using a looky likey into somewhere where we never smoked anyway? Mm. Because I don't know about all shopping malls, but certainly in the Metro Centre, you could never smoke in the food court. No, you couldn't. No. And exactly the same applies to every other food court I've ever been to. Mm -hmm. Before the smoking ban came in, yeah. you never smoked there. So naturally, it's going to raise a reaction. It's bound to. And then that, I've forgotten the name of that reporter, but where's this double dose of Nick coming in? No idea. Given that BBC reporters are allowed to use e-cigs at their desks, what's he on about? Are they? Oh, yeah.
Absolutely. That whole piece was designed to be totally, completely and utterly one-sided and negative. It was propaganda and the Beeb seems to be taking a propagandist, anti-nicotine and tobacco zealotry stance. Mm. They are doing my natter in. So I'm appealing to everybody watching this, whether it's live, video on demand, you've got 30 days from the day that the thing went out, go and catch it on iPlayer so you can honestly, truthfully see you've seen it on the Beeb and then put a complaint in because that is so slanted. And the thing about it is what really, really annoys me, there might be people sitting out there that were thinking about using e-cigs and because what numpty face on that piece of video said, get put off using them. I mean, he was shown an ego, something that looks now like a fag and he chooses to use cigar likes for his mm. experiment. So, was that more or less the whole piece? That, 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 that's, that was the whole yeah. piece, yes. <clears throat> I was going to press the zero button and come back to us live because my blood was starting to boil, but I realised we were very close to the end. Well, I mean, what do you mean, so Keith? Well, as you say, it, it, it was biased, like quite a lot of the BBC stuff. Uh, but as you say, people tend to watch things like that and see them as purely factual, mm. don't they? What do you expect it from the beep? Well, that, that's the point I'm yeah. making. That, uh, you know, it's not unique to that uh, biasness on the part of the BBC, is it? You see it in all sorts of uh, uh, topical debate. Well, it's true enough, but I've had, I had an idea. This is what came to me when I was preparing this earlier on. We've got this knees meet on Saturday. I want three folks with proper e yeah. big mods, or even, no, just not looky like these egos, somebody with egos, somebody with GGTSs, yeah. somebody whatever, right? And we'll, we'll shoot off somewhere where there isn't anybody... Mm. vaping mm. in the place. We'll take a camera or three mm. and, and, and see what the reaction is. And see whether we get any reaction. And we'll interview those people. We'll put that together and we'll put it up on YouTube and point the beeb at it and say, look at we got a totally different reaction to what you That's did. That's a good idea. That's a really good All idea. All in favour say aye. 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 Looks like it. We'll see what comes up. There we go. Yeah, look at yep. that. We've got loads of people. Yes, there we go. Smashing. Bring your, bring your iPhones with you on Saturday. Mm -hmm. Bring everything you've got that can film. And we'll, uh, we'll have half a dozen folks go out and uh, we'll do the experiment. Uh, look at all the eyes. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Absolutely. We'll, we'll have a blast at that. We'll do that. Pull it together. See yeah. what happens. iPhone, iPad. <laughs> I don't care what you ah, use. I like the Mrs. Whatever Brown's boys touch. Mrs. Brown. Jeff. Oh, Jeff Benyon. Yes. Right. <laughs> Jeff is uh, Jeff is a delight. Yes. Jeff entertains uh, me. Uh, Mrs. Brown's boys. He really yes. is a marvel. He is. He's an absolute cracker. So that's what we'll do. We'll get that organised for Saturday. Aye. It would. Uh, yes. That'll be canny. Absolutely. And we'll get it up on YouTube. Gives us a chance to use the bubble. You can get your bubble out. <laughs> you can get your bubble you can, out. And, and if people have got anything to say, you can walk up to them and say, would you like to feel my bubble? Exactly. <coughs> exactly. Yes. That would be brilliant. Mm -hmm. That would be cracking. So I'm not here the following Thursday. It's probably because I've been arrested, like I've asked them. And well, it depends <laughs> on where you are when you yeah, ask them, doesn't true. it? Really? I've always that's had a lot of time for Matt Baker, North East lad. Mm. Yes. Yeah. People watching closely will have seen that my control software has crashed twice. Never mind. I'm not watching, honestly. It's fine. It's, <laughs> it's cool. It's okay. I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll take the second lot of adverts okay. because we've got two, two more new toys to look at. Yes. And this will be a bit more upbeat and stuff like that. No more bobos. No, well, no, no, not bobos. Right, no right, more bobos. Right, no, no, not, not, not bobos. Right. We're going to go natural. Right. That's what we're going to do. So we should take the advertisement and when we return, more toys to look at. It'll all be good. It'll all be fine. Everything will come out in the wash. Won't it? Yeah. I'm sure. Back in two. Save the Six. Sponsors of the Haze Hour.
Sabre 6. Sponsors of the Haze Hour. And we is back in the room. <laughs> yes. Yes. I can I've just been reading through what chat was 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 taping in there and I can't remember whether it was Bobo the Clown or Bozo the Clown. Bobo. Bobo? Yes. Was Bobo the Clown? Yes. Bobo. Apparently he had red hair. <laughs> oh <geez. laughs> Yes. He was called yeah. Bobo the Clown. No, yeah. that's not the one I want. That's the one I want. Bobo Bobo the Clown had red hair. And a Bobo. I'm saying no more than that. I think I might change my name on chat in the future now. What, become Bobo? Become Bobo. Become Bobo. Yeah. A Korean dude who muds like a maniac and um, breaks wind uncontrollably. I don't know what muds like a maniac means. But thank you for that, Jeff. And he goes looking at a great picture. Uh, no. 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 Yeah. No, I have the horrible feeling if you do a Google search on Bobo, you, I've got no idea what you'll come up with. But you, know, by all means, have if a you put in Bobo Asic, you'll get a picture. Oh, there's somebody saying they regularly vape in several Costa coffee shops and oh. never have a problem. Well, I mean, there's, there's both Sav and Cat in chat will confirm this, right? Let let me say this straight off, and we're going back. When e-cigs were not quite as uh, prevalent as they are now, people really haven't seen that oh. much of them. And there's a, a um, like a, I don't know what you call it, a library calf in Tynemouth, North Shales Way, right? Lovely place, Whitley Bay, right? Right. And we went down there for a, a cup of coffee and what have you, and we we're going to do a little bit of filming. And the first time we went, the three of us had GGs. And oh. we're giving it hot licks, as you do, um, Kat, unlike Kat at the time, was parting with Vapor, because you and she are very close like that, you, neither of you part with Vapor, right? But she was parting with Vapor, and Sav, I think Sav had the Darwin with the gooseneck on, right. which, you know, that looks so much like a fag, not. Um, and I had a JJ as well, and we were sitting having a natter and talking to each other and doing a little bit of filming as you do. Nobody batted an eyelid, mm. nobody said a word. We went back about six weeks later to look. We were going to do a, an on-location review right. kind of thing. And this was definitely a cigarette. Looked like a consulate. All, right, all white. Little red end on it. And I hadn't got more than four drags out of it. The video was actually on the site. We've got a link to it on, on the front page of the site. Mm. Hadn't had more than four drags out of it. And you can't smoke that in here, sir. And I'm thinking, well, it's all right, bonnie lad. It's me. I'm not smoking. It's an ASIC. Oh, fine, yes, hello, how are you? It's very nice for you to be here. I'm like for see how you doing with them electronic cigarettes you got. And the people on the other table, to the right hand side, that had complained, you could see them going, eh, what? We've just complained about and he's minute and that was it. Mm. That was the sum total. And it was only because it was a ciggy like that anything that happened. No Mark Shaw, he wasn't Welsh. <laughs> God. I'm surprised how you can see that. I'm <coughs> gonna look at that one. It's, I've got my glasses. Oh. I've got my glasses. I can see now. I can, I can, I can see there and I can see here. It's brilliant because <laughs> they, they, they're bifoculars, you know. <laughs> okay. Bifoculars. Yes. But yes, there you go. If you've got, if you've got something that's a decent size, nobody's going to say boo. Talking about something of a decent size, did you see the seamless link there? Yes. I'll, actually, what I'll do is I'll put those two side by side. <coughs> Side by side, and I shall go to Camera Foo, because Camera Foo is the closer you can. That's if software will stop crashing on me. Camera Foo, and press cut, and there we go. Now, you might think that these two are from the same manufacturer. I'll take that one away. Because they're not. Look at that, I'll take this off. What would you say that was, Daz? I know what that is. Yeah, what is it then? That is a natural. That is a natural, which I purchased with my own money earlier on this week, and it has arrived. And it looks, it might look quite familiar to a lot of people, mate, that. I'll tell you what, we'll zoom in on it a little bit, shall we? And then we can get really, really close up and see what it looks like, he said, moving his hand. There we go. Really close up. And it is A3 part, four part, more, more than that parts, ASIG. You have a switch unit at the bottom, which may look slightly familiar if I take the butt off. 
We've got all those vent holes on it. You might uh, you might see a familiar mechanism there. Chinese, obviously, pushy mm -hmm. button, and it goes. Um, but the middle part of it also comes out so that it's not just for 18650s, you can put 18350s in it as well, or an 18500 and a kick. And the top section comes off, he said, wobbling everything about, and you've got an adjustable pole that screws in and out as well. Right. And I've got this one set up, I hope in the right order when I put it back together, uh, to take um, an AWIMR 18650. And I've been using it since it arrived on Tuesday. Uh, it's purely mechanical. I haven't kicked it or anything like that. And it's doing the job quite nicely, I have to say. Um, and I know there's a lot of people were asking where could they get a JG. And I'm here to tell you, the build quality on this is pretty darn good. Mm. I know when I covered that on the hardware roundup, it, it, and that was just by a picture, I was impressed by the look of it. It's... Uh, it feels nice in the hand. Yeah. Solid, mm. isn't it? It is solid. Beautifully put together and you'd have been able to hear there's no squeaky scratchy yeah. stuff on the threads or out like that. Yeah. Beautifully engineered. It's isn't very, it? very nice. And uh, at the moment, I'm matching it up with my, uh, <coughs> my Fogatti. And I'm here to tell you, in fact, you'll be able to see if I can get close up and come in again. Look. Look at the diameter. It's spot on. It's yeah. a spot on match. It's 22 millimetres spot on for a Fogatti. And it works. I mean, it looks the part. It's you a good setup, it, yeah. It was a, a whole unit. You would. You? Uh, Have a blast. It's a crack. I, I quite like it, I have to say. What do you make of that, Keith? Impressive. The, the button's a bit heavy. Right. The button is just, it is a, just a, bit. a bit on the heavy side. It takes a little bit of a press. To me, though, that's reassuring because it means, um, because it, like, if, if you take the, I think it's the Adam, for instance, I know that the Adam had some problems with the button. So if the button's a bit heavier to me, it means that it may be more well made. Possibly, quite possibly. Mm. The question is just being asked whether it's kickable, and the answer is it yes, is, it is. It should be kickable because I is. remember covering it. It is, yeah. It yeah. Takes, takes an 18500 with the kick. I think it's eminently possible that the, the, that little third top section that I took off mm. um, is actually the right size to yeah. take a kick. No, so I mean, if they come out as a spare, you could go 18650 with a kick in mm. as well. I mean, yeah. the, the button's positive, isn't it? It's not as if it could be accidentally... No. No, no. Uh, well, that's, that's the other thing that I forgot to mention and should have because, you know, <coughs> patently, obviously, I'm uh, not the world's best reviewer. But at the bottom end here, try and get everything so it can be seen there is a little knurled nut thing that mm. you're trying to do this ah. way around screws up and then the button is unpressable oh that's very good all right so it works it works ex extremely well actually extremely well um adjustable at both whoops adjustable at both ends as mm. well so you've got an adjustment <coughs> for the battery and mm. an adjustment for the top and it's most people cool. i think tend to use the same kind of battery yeah. all the time yes very neat John Bloss, yeah, if you wouldn't mind. It's, oh, it's uh, very yeah. well How's that feel to you? That's solid. Very. That's very solid, isn't it? Not too weighty. So Fifty some quid at UK liquid. That's nice, really was it? nice. Yeah. That is very nice. It is nice, isn't it? It's a lovely to vehicle. Clearly yeah. built to last. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Stainless steel. What's the <coughs> button? <coughs> I do I like the button because I'm not a big fan of button buttons being towards that purely mm. on the press. Yes. Because the my my little finger is not capable of pressing firm buttons. <laughs> yeah, I <laughs> know what you sense. mean. Yeah, well yeah. it does. Yes. Yeah. You're being advised to palm fire it. Palm fire. Palm fire. That's what egomaniac is saying. Palm fire the thing V does. Do you know what palm firing is? That is it. Kind of. What you do. I'll go to close up again. We might as well use the techno trickery. We've got it. What you do is you take the button, right, and you put the button on your palm, right, like that. All right. And then you, you press with your hand. Well, press with your hand. It kind of, yeah. For me, it goes just under the, the heel of the thumb, 
and press it that way. And that, that, uh, that's worked for me for ages. Ah, right. I always thought it was with the finger. Well, if you, if you palm it like yeah. that, you've got all of your fingers. If, yeah. you, if the spring's strong, mm. you've got all of your fingers that you can press the, the device with. Right. And, with and the heel of your thumb, yes. that's where most of the strength in your hand is, you know, because you can see it's got, got all the meat in it, like, yes. a, like a turkey drumstick. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's, it's where the bulge in your bobo would go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. <coughs> Give that a try. My God, that is nice. I'm enjoying that. The whole thing's just, there you go. That's easier, isn't it? Oh, yeah, that's dead easy, that now. <laughs> that's really nice. Less of a Very way. Nice. But, I mean, it is, it's nice in the hand. Um, I think there was somebody I was reading, and I'm sorry, I really can't remember who, who it was, what the screen name was, on the All About forum was bemoaning the gap. Mm-hmm. Because there is a gap. There is a gap. But there's nothing to stop you from firing <coughs> the 510 down a little bit. Well, I don't mind having a little bit of a gap because some devices you put on and you tend to get a tighter draw because you don't have as much airflow. Yeah, but this is a, a Jenny. So where's the airflow coming from? Well, the air from comes then? in the hole inside. Oh, oh right, it okay. Sorry, I, did, I wasn't. I didn't realise. It's that. all right, Bonnie. Okay. His knee sweats. Sorry. I, mean, I yeah. don't. I, I don't think the gap. Uh, is, no, is I have to say it doesn't. It really doesn't bother uh, me that much. It wouldn't. It, it's, no. You know that is neat. And it looks a very yes. neat unit. It, it is. It's neat. It's nice, and at fifty-four quid. Yeah. That's yeah. going to last you a long, long time. It is. And yes. it's, I mean, everybody, well, not everybody, but most, most people know I've got the sweaty hand curse mm. and I rot, honestly, but the stainless, it stops everything from going. Well, bits. that's what yeah. you want because, like, my lava tube, if you remember, and I took th- from the, I got the same with the sweaty palms and it was taking all the chrome off and revealing the copper underneath. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Which was a big disappointment because ah. afterwards it doesn't look as nice, it just looks tacky. Yeah. Now, ego, oh. ego, any, ego, oh, maniac. No, this is, <laughs> this is talking to Sav last night. She had the falling over the tongue disease <laughs> and somehow it's come at me over Skype, so I've got it as well. Um, he's saying, how does the natural compare to the EA mod? Can't tell you, haven't got an EA mod. As soon as I've got one, I'll do a comparison and let you know. But I think the EA is about twice the price of this, isn't it? Yes. Yes. I'm, I'm thinking at 54 quid, um, there's all sorts of reasons why you would want this. And yeah. I'm, I'm not finding many reasons to say you wouldn't. You mm. wouldn't, yeah. I'm not finding many reasons to say you wouldn't. Mm. Um, and it, I don't know that it's coincidental or what, but the finish on that stainless steel is identical. Yeah, oh, absolutely. Yes. It does look like yes. one complete unit. It, it yeah. does, it looks as though it's come off the same mm. yeah. turned by the same mm. man. It really does. Um, yeah, not, not a lot, not the like. Absolutely. But you've been getting more new toys, haven't yes. you? Yes. What you've been getting? I am now a member of the Evic fan club. Oh my giddy aunt. Yes, I have an Evic. He has an Evic. I have an Evic. <laughs> and, <laughs> and, and in all fairness, between the two, yes. I've used them about 50 50. Right. But I love this. I absolutely love this. Um, from the moment I picked it up, and the day I picked it up and I put the battery in, I screwed the device on top and I switched it on. Once I worked out how to switch it on. <coughs> I've never linked it to a PC. And I switched it on and Keith, it was like magic. Literally, just like magic. It just went, bloop, bloop. And it just, it did everything. It suggested what, what voltage or wattage was best for the device. It calculated the, uh, what ohms it was at. And it, it was just ready, you know, it was just ready so to go. So there was no faffing about No faffing it. whatsoever. Um, I've still never t- attached it to the PC because I felt like I hadn't had a need to. Yeah. And um, I love it for the display. The display is excellent, you know. It tells us you know, exactly what I need to know, which I think, in, in all fairness, most EVIC users, and I think you might be the same. The, what I like it to tell me is um, how many watts I'm vaping at, what the homage is and how much battery life I've got. Right. But it's an extra feature. It even tells me what the volts is alongside with the watts. Right. And I've set the clock and the calendar on it as well. Just so that comes complete. That obviously, comes complete. Yes. Apart from what you put on the top, obviously. Yeah. But yes. Okay. <laughs> well, right. Well, yes. I've got to say, 
My AVIC is very rarely out of my hands, but you've got the aluminium that's yours as a yes. kit. Can I just show the two yeah, together? We'll absolutely. Go close you up, you can. Close you up, you can again. There we go. So Daz's is on the right, that one there. Mine's on the left, and I've got the, uh, the stainless steel body on it. And the difference in, well, Keith, if you should pocket your, uh, your two devices and have a feel of the difference in the way. Here we go. Can you manage? Yeah. Yeah. So there is a hell of a difference. Light. In there is a difference. Very yes. light. Yeah. And in it's comparison it. to the yes. Gulf, I mean, it, it's it's like fresh air. Yes, you know, I mean, uh, you know, doing that, you mm. can, you can. You yes. Definitely. What you them, it's, what it's, when you read <laughs> off. What circumstances <laughs> would any man do that? A significant difference, yes. <laughs> Ignoring him, of course. Ignoring him, of course. <clears throat> <laughs> 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 I mean, the display is very good, isn't it? It's, it's easily it's legible. Fabulous. Easily legible. Easily as well. Yeah. Yeah. yeah very good. I, I mean, Big Craig on chat the other night, um, bless him, and he said, you know, how do you fear the EVIC in comparison to the to the Z-Max? And I said, well, to be fair, there is none. And I said, the EVIC, to me, wins outright. And Big Craig said, oh, dear. <laughs> <laughs> Because I think he must have went off my recommendation of the Z-Max. Now, the Z-Max I love, don't get me yeah. wrong. But the reason that I would favour this to the Z-Max is because virtually with that, I mean, I have increased the watch slightly yeah. since. But, you know, you don't have to. You don't have to do that. It could be, you know, just just as easy to stick whatever on in little vape. I mean, the display is, yes. is good. Yeah, absolutely. And straightforward. Oh, d definitely, definitely. Indeed, without a doubt. Um, but I'm kind of still excited because there's more to learn about it yet, yes. which I haven't done. But oh. it's just an amazing piece of kit. So you just got that, have you? I got it on Monday. All right. Monday, right. and it's never been at my hand. My other half has tried to remove this from my grip without success and yeah. uh, and I just absolutely love it. Question is, has he had all of your bobo? <laughs> he's not interested <laughs> he's in not the bobo. He's not interested in, the bobo. in his bobo. No. Ah, yeah. oh, poor yeah. love. <coughs> and, 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 and. <laughs> well, all these people who were scoffing, it will be eating their words when that's uh, well, uh, when an that's, antique yes, piece. absolutely, you know, who knows, like I said, years to come, it could be one of these things on the Antiques Roadshow. It could. Or alternatively, it could be one of these things yes. where you see on the show saying, what do you think this is? Yes. Mm -hmm. It's Indeed. a bobo. Who would yes. ever guess that? <laughs> I'm not quite <coughs> sure what the title of this show is going to be. The Bobo Show. The Bobo Show. The Bobo uh, Show. Uh, uh, yes. Mm. <sighs> well, could I suppose do that? Um, Everybody's mentioning vamos now. Vamo. Yes. Don't mention the word vamo to cat. No, I'm never ever going to mention that word to cat because I'm one of these days I've still do a slap. In all fairness. Does she owe you a slap? Yeah, she owes a slap. Cat! Hey, I'm better. Hey, brother. Sorted. Done. Yes. What does she owe you a slap for? Because if it wasn't for me, she would never have got that family oh, in the first yes. place. I remember she, the story now. It was because I couldn't order it from the site. It just yes. says, you click this, 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 and this, and, and she um, went, oh, bugger, I've ordered one. Yes. That's, that's the worst part about <laughs> having a PayPal account, of course. <laughs> what you put? Thank you, <clears throat> Dave. I'll be seeing you later about that cat. <laughs> <laughs> Tracy Wood says again, Dave, I missed it. There you are, just for you, Tracy. <laughs> <sighs> That's a quick slap upside the head, as I believe, as, as it goes. Oh, let's just check for a ball patch. He hasn't got a ball patch. No. Damn. No. So, so, what more have you got to learn about your EVIC? Let's get away from this gratuitous um, violence. You know, um, what we're covering a couple of weeks ago over the chart and plugging it in and the perfect vape where you could right. set it at so many like second, seconds at this and then you, you do know you can change between the modes with the ring yes but i haven't done that yet right it's it's something that I've, I've not even looked at all the menus to be honest it's something that i definitely want to do and i want to put my name on it because i know you can put your name on it well will you do us a favor mm -hmm. 
Will you film it? Yes, I'll film it. Film it. I'll film it. Film. <laughs> the word is film. 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 Hang on a minute. Oh, 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 oh. oh can you see what that says there? Oh. It says hit him with a GG. And, <laughs> oh. and That's so cruel. How cruel, honestly. So I'll film. Yes, I'll film. I know. Film. film. Smack him You're with right. his bobo, yeah. See, that sounds going to smack us with the Darwin as well now for seeing film. Is that right? Yes. But it is a film. <laughs> Isn't it a film, You're Keith? Getting more and more <laughs> this is why I don't read chat normally because it gets so distracting. Yes. Yes. We're yes. talking about we were talking about vamos. Next, Keith will be giving DD an eye poke. A what? An eye poke. An eye poke. What there was an eye poke? Oh, an eye. An eye. <laughs> Oh, sorry, I thought I thought uh, Apple had come out yeah. with a new device. I didn't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I've got to say I've got to, I've got the stainless steel vamo that has no plating on to rub off. I don't have it to hand. It's mm. it's in amongst. Well, these two gentlemen I decide have seen gentlemen. the state of my living room and my kitchen. Yes, and yeah. I cannot find anything <laughs> anywhere. No, and, and we used to have. Sets of six glasses. Yes. Not anymore. No. No. Yes. They keep getting broken for some. Yeah. Because but that's all the excitement of a new kitchen because you can it's buy all these new things for no, it as well. It's, no, it's got nothing to do with the excitement of a new kitchen and everything to do with the fact that we haven't got room to move. <laughs> you will do though. We haven't got in a room. week and a bit. We Not long to go now. No. 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 Oh, Davy May, you are going to get a bobo dropped on your tour. Cat is gonna oh. drop a bobo on your tour. I'll be have I'll be having a chat with Cat later. I'm gonna I'm sorry to have to do this, but mm. I'm gonna have to go there and put chat up. Oh. This is what is happening. These these are all the threats that are being made. There she you go. She kept dropping that battery out of that bobo the other night. That was dropping quite funny. A battery out of that bobo. Yeah, she kept she, she could she was having some difficulty with it, and every time she went to put the battery, in, she kept dropping it on the floor. I would she love had to keep to going know, and retrieve. I would love to know who chose the name. Bobo. Bobo, yes. Somebody who was not a native English speaker, I would humbly suggest. Yes. Yeah. On <coughs> which note, we're yes. going to have to say our goodbyes, yes. I'm afraid, yes. chaps. Yes. Because time, again, <laughs> has beaten us. It has absolutely beaten us. And Daz, you're going to need to spend as much time with Alan as you possibly can between now and Saturday because, as Kat has just said, <laughs> you've dug a big hole for yourself <laughs> and you ain't going to get out of it easily. <laughs> Yes, so from the three of us here, I hope you've enjoyed the show tonight. I'm here to tell you, it's lifted my spirits more than somewhat, having me two mates alongside us and everybody in chat. Thank you so much for coming along and watching. It's been brilliant. I've loved every second. Like the hands together a bit. <laughs> well, I had hoped that the white smoke would have gone up for us, but <laughs> apparently... It was jet black. Was <laughs> totally jet black and thunderclaps <laughs> coming down on me. There was never a hope. Uh, uh, no, no. Uh, Absolutely. I'm going to go to the Sistine Chapel and see if I can get away with it. But I have the feeling <laughs> there'll be a bolt of lightning comes down. <laughs> yes. Be may go on. You see damage, yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh every, every, every time I've gone into a local church door, the priest's always gone like that. Has he? Aye. You in the balcony, come and get him and hide the bugger out. <laughs> what? <laughs> Good night, folks. Good night, everybody. See you next good time. Night. Bye -bye. Be good. good. Night. And if you can't be good, be careful. Be very good and not naughty. We'll see you on Saturday if you're there. From the three of us. Tatty, bye. 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 bye.
Sussex. Sponsors of the Haze Hour.